Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and in today's video we are going to be looking at another packaged coin from the Royal Mint. So in today's video it is a bunk pack. Now this one was featured in the 2020 annual set but me being me I've got to get all the bunks and here we have it. So we've got the 2020 Mayflower £2 coin design and what an absolute stunner it is. We're going to crack it out of this Hang bag in a minute because you can see my ring light. Ooh, <laughs> it is there, but it's an absolutely gorgeous design. And along with the Agatha Christie two pound coin, I couldn't wait to get my hands on this. So here we have it in the normal Royal Mint hang bag. Now I am pretty sure that I've heard that the new Winnie the Pooh 50p coins are coming in the new Royal Mint um, packaging. So I'm looking forward to seeing them where they haven't got these hangy bits at the top. So. I'm looking forward to getting my Winnie the Pooh 50p coins and seeing how they look in uh, the new redesign packaging. So without further ado, let's crack this one out of its packaging and have a look at the coin and the booklet in further detail. Okay, so here we go. Let's crack this out of its packaging. And we'll put you off to one side over there. And here we go. Well, we won't get so much glare this time. So here's a closer look at the coin, and it's such a stunning coin. This is my second favourite apart from the uh, Agatha Christie £2 coin, and it is uh, easily one of my favourite coin releases of this year. Really nice, I love the packaging, I love the colours, I love the illustrations, and it is a really striking um, pamphlet that you get with this coin. So on the back we've just got a few coin specifications as well, so we've got obviously the £2 coin. Edge inscription, undertaken for the glory of God. Quality, brilliant, uncirculated, obverse designer, Jody Clark, and the reverse designer, Chris Costello. But already, what a gorgeous, gorgeous bunk pack. So let's, let's have a look in here. Okay, so let's have a look at the obverse. Stunning. I think the only thing that beat these are the silver proof two pound coins. It's just gorgeous, and there we have two pounds and Elizabeth II. Okay, so as normal, if you want to stop this video at any time to have a read of any of this information, please feel free to do so. So we've got the Mayflower. The voyage of the Mayflower was anything but easy. After a series of frustrating delays and false starts, including leaving behind a companion ship, the Mayflower set sail in September 1620. We have some more information just there. The Journey of Faith. And some of these illustrations are just absolutely gorgeous. And here we have some pilgrims board in the Mayflower. And again, a fantastic drawing illustration of the ship just there. The Mayflower along with the speed bell. At the speed bell. Get my words out, Matthew. Speed bell was supposed to have set sail for the New World in the summer of 1620, but did not actually get fully underway, alone until mid-September, wow. Just look at it, it's so striking, I really do like this um, bunk pack, it's gorgeous. And here we have it, Pilgrims depart on the speed roll from Delfshaven, Netherlands. The story of the Mayflower is heavy with should have moments. The voyage should have fair, have only taken six weeks, wow. It should have seen pilgrims establishing a home in Northern Virginia, which at the time extended into modern day New York. And they have some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff in there, really nice illustrations. Okay, so yeah, again, stop the video any time if you want to catch that a bit better. Let's have a look at the reverse. Okay, so what we've got here? Pilgrims signing the Mayflower Compact. Oh wow, that's awesome. I think this is easy, easily, I, I've decided it is my favourite, favourite bunk pack. Really is nice. Easily my favourite £2 bunk pack so far, just to, just the pictures do it for me. We also got the Mayflower Compact. Within the cold and crowded hull of a cargo ship, more accustomed to hauling wine or wool, and more than 140 years before, Jean Jacques Rousseau. Yeah, I didn't say that right, one bit. Gave a name to the idea. It's really cool, some fantastic information. 
And then we've got a bit of information about Chris Costello. And there we have a really good picture of the Mayflower two pound coin. And it is an absolute stunner. And one that I really couldn't wait to get my hands on. Uh, of course you can get this in the 2020 annual set as well, along with the uh, uh, 50p GB. And along with uh, all these coins, unfortunately they won't be circulated, so the only way of getting your hands on one of these is uh, popping over to the Royal Mint and buying one of these bunk packs, or you can get them a little bit cheaper over at Westminster and Change Checker, places like that, so uh, you've got some options. But what a fantastic coin, and a fantastic booklet to go with it as well. Really, really nice, I'm, I'm really impressed with this. So there we have it for another review on a uh, Royal Mint bunk pack. If you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like. And if you want to leave me a comment, that would be absolutely fantastic as well. Please let me know if you've got this coin and if it is one of your favourites. Of course, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so. And if you press that notification bell, you will always be notified when I upload new videos like this. All that's left for me to say now is thank you so much as always for watching. And always remember, there's always two sides to every coin if you take the time to look.